Am I the asshole? For labeling all the bottles in the house because my adult children are idiots? I have two of my children living with me. One has graduated from college and the other is a junior. I have to purchase medicated shampoo because of a scalp condition. It is by prescription and it is expensive. It also comes in packaging that is meant to be stored upright. Not on its side and definitely not upside down. My daughter has her hair products in the shower and I do not touch them. My son also keeps his Axe Body Wash Shampoo Conditioner Woman Repellent in the shower. I also do not touch it since I have zero desire to smell like a high school locker room. I keep my shampoo in there as well since it is my house and I can keep my shit wherever I want. For some reason the two of them cannot understand that not all packaging is meant to be upside down. They have already wasted an entire bottle of my shampoo by storing it upside down after they touched it for some reason. It all ripped out the spout which is not engineered for that. I talked to both of them and I explained that they should not touch my stuff and that if they accidentally tip over my shampoo it was meant to be stored with the lid at the top. I came home last week to find my shampoo leaking out of the bottle again. Upside down. I ordered 500 stickers that say this side up with an arrow pointing upwards when the words are upright and I put them on everything in the house that might leak. With my shampoo being literally covered in them. They had friends over last weekend and they noticed that the relish, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, etc. were all labeled. My kids were embarrassed when they explained why. They think I am an asshole for putting labels on everything since they only fuck with my shampoo. Since it is $80 a bottle I said I would take off all the labels if they agree to pay for my shampoo. Thus far they have declined. Not the asshole. My kids are the same way. Your kids can either learn to leave your stuff alone, put it back the way it was, pay for your medication, or deal with the labels. There are several reasonable choices there. Natar. X200B. You gave them a chance, you told them why, and they still did it. X200B. Sometimes embarrassment use needed. And this was only in your house so it's not like you forced their friends to see it. Not the asshole. That's awesome and hilarious. It's a genius solution to a problem thank you for making me smile. I think not the asshole, they're both too old to be doing stuff like that honestly. That's the sort of disregard I would show for my parents stuff when I was like, 13 maybe? Your measures were extreme but if the embarrassment is enough to make them change their ways, I say fair game. Not the asshole and I applaud your commitment to pettiness. Not the asshole. Axe body wash shampoo conditioner woman repellent. Thanks for the laugh, I needed it. Petty but not the asshole and also economical. Buying in bulk makes sense, cheaper and less overhead. As for your kids, they need to respect your stuff. If a bunch of labels help with that then well done. Not the asshole. And with 500 stickers you could have a lot of fun. Let your imagination run wild with absurd or inappropriate places to put them. Not the asshole. Prescription shampoo is expensive and it's not like it's easy to get when the refills run out. They should be repaying you for the wasted shampoo and extra doctor visit. Not the asshole there's nothing wrong with being organized especially when other people are careless. Not the asshole totally in agreement with you. If they can't handle one bottle, who is to assume they can't understand it with all of them? They have options to get out of their embarrassment here and it seems like they can't handle a simple task after just simply being asked to correct their behavior. Bottom line, they don't respect your stuff. So you're making sure their behavior gets fixed. LOL. My question is. What happens when they start ignoring the labels too? Not the asshole but it does sound like you're at the how can I love you if you won't go away stage of your relationship with your kids lol. My daughter used to tell me her high school football team smelled like axe and failure. She was not wrong. That's peak level parenting right there. Embarrass the crap out of them. Not the asshole.
not the asshole. You have explained it to them already and they have done it regardless, so here they have the results of their actions. And it's not like you intend to keep labeling all the products forever, just until they learn their lesson right? They are embarrassed because they had to explain the consequences for their action. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I think that's hilarious. They did it to themselves. Axe Body Wash Shampoo Conditioner Woman Repellent. I was repelled just reading that, smiley face. Not the asshole and what a hilarious way to deal with your kids. I hope they appreciate that their dad's a comedian. Not the asshole. Sounds like a funny thing to do and way less harsh than I'd have been. Not the asshole. You were definitely petty, but your pettiness was justified. Not the asshole. You sound awesome. Love your sense of humor. The fact that you share a bathroom with adult children and the only complaint you have is them wasting your expensive medicated shampoo makes you more than not the asshole, it makes you a saint. The fact that this was the solution you chose makes me want to be your friend. You are gold. I think this is my favorite am I the asshole? Post. I can't stop laughing. 100 not the asshole. Your solution is sarcastic and hilarious, and you're within your rights to do it, because as you said, it's your house and you can put shit where you want. This made my freaking night. LOL. Not the asshole. And you're a freaking genius, absolutely top-notch response. If they don't want to be embarrassed by people knowing they can't put a bottle back upright then they should, check this out, put bottles back upright. Not the asshole. Entirely appropriate way to get your point across. Whatever they're majoring in at college has nothing to do with physics, I hope. Not the asshole. You could have been a whole lot uglier about $80 at least twice. Not the asshole. This is a great example of justified pettiness and I am all for it. Also, this cracked me up so much. My son also keeps his Axe Body Wash Shampoo Conditioner Woman Repellent in the shower. I also do not touch it since I have zero desire to smell like a high school locker room. Not the asshole. And that's just funny. Your kids should get over it. Not the asshole. You got some attitude on you, but I love it. They didn't learn their lesson, so extra steps need to be made to make sure they learn. Not the asshole. So not TA and I'm laughing at this awesome way of driving the message home. If they want to be embarrassed in front of their friends for being jerks about wasting expensive, medicated shampoo, that's their problem. Not the asshole. And just ordered my own stickers, this weekend will be fun. This is, without a doubt, the greatest thing I have ever read. You are a saint among moms and not even a touch over the line. I love everything about this, keep doing what you do. Not the asshole x1000. Not the asshole, but I think the son you're looking for is our petty revenge. Not the asshole. I'd be annoyed too.